Hi, my name is Dhruv Pate and I, I'm an engineer at Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies. Uh, today we're here to talk about the importance of safety and an inert atmosphere when we work with metal additive manufacturing machines. One of the key architectural aspects of this machine is how it creates and maintains an inert environment. Now this is important for two reasons. Firstly, we want to ensure that we have high part quality. When we have an oxygen rich environment or if there's some nitrogen for some metals, this can cause an increase in porosity in the end part. It can also lead to trapped impurities in the part, which is something that reduces the performance of this part when it's put into its end application. Secondly, we want to keep this entire process in a safe combustion free environment. We're working with lasers and melting powders and through this process we generate submicron carburized soot that gets airborne. What we do through the inert atmosphere and the flow of the inert gases is we take that soot out of the build chamber away from the path of the incoming laser through the exhaust into the filter, get all the soot out and bring the inert gases back in and recycle that. This is very important because the submicron soot can be a source of combustion at the temperatures that are involved in this process. In addition to the inert atmosphere that the machine itself maintains during the process, there are three times when you as a user have to interact with the machine and the material. And I wanna go through each one of these in turn. Firstly, after the part is printed, you need to unpack the build. In other words, you need to get in there and take all the stray powder out and remove your part and the build plate. Concept Lasers M-Lab makes this really easy with a glove box. The nice thing about the glove box is you can attach it to the machine, access the build chamber and unpack your build without needing a respirator and you can even do so in an inert atmosphere with the reactive metals. The second time you interact with the machine is related to the soot that is formed during the process. This soot collects inside the build chamber along with stray powder and needs to be cleaned after every build. Concept Laser allows the user to open the door of the M-Lab and access the inside while being connected by an ESD strap to avoid risk of ignition. The third and final way the user interacts with the machine and the material that I want to talk about is in the replacement of the filter. If you remember back to our discussion on inert gases, these inert gases are taking the carburized soot and the soot is getting trapped in the filter. The filter needs to be replaced with a new filter to allow that continuous recycling of inert gases. What we have found is that using water to passivate this filter really allows for a quick and rapid passivation. And additionally, it makes an easy transition for me to remove this filter out of the module and put it into my existing streams, which are either solid or water-based. And then I can dispose of them in keeping with local regulations. The other nice thing about this approach is that I reuse the module. So I can take a new filter, put it back in the module and mount the very same module back into the equipment and then I'm ready to go again. At PADT, our motto is we make innovation work. And for me to innovate, I need to ensure that my machine was designed with the safety of the user in mind. With the M-Lab, Concept Laser has done exactly that and that is why we trust them and their technology.